Hello everybody. We were at the Kitchen Builder exhibition last week and we got a USB memory stick as a giveaway. It has a 2 GB capacity and that means it is 200 times bigger than my first hard drive I bought in the mid 70s. And this hard drive cost me more than 2000 euro. And now we get something smaller, faster, way more capacity for free. And it is a nice little thing to model. So I start with a square in front view and I make it uh, 18 by 7 millimeters and put it in the middle. Then I copy this polygon, control copy, control V, W key and put it two millimeters back. So minus two here. So hide this one. Then I go to uh, the front view again, edge mode. Select this edge, Alt C, with the count of two in symmetry, and I make this about six percent. Then use this one here, Alt C, and make it so that this is more or less a square, like so. Now we can select. <clears throat> these edges be for bevel but with a round level of 2 and I bevel this by 0.2 millimeters. I can select these middle edges now and delete them and I want to select now these middle polygons and give them a uh, material. So M key, call it temp and make it slightly darker. This will help us later on. Okay, now we have eight edges in here and eight in here. I unhide my second square and then select an edge in here, Alt C, with a count of eight and uniform and do the same here, Alt C, then I select this polygon and flip it. Edge mode, select an edge here and these here and bridge. Go back to polygon mode, control X, control V, W and move this back minus 36 millimeters because the entire stick is 38 millimeters. Now we can select these edges here and these ones and these ones and bridge them. And now we have on top the hard edges we need to extrude the plug. And here we have evenly spaced to get uh, a nice surface. So I select all these polygons here, then go to the top view, A key, select a radial fall off, bring it out from here. This is zero. W key 
and move this up about like so. <clears throat> now I can put an edge in here, pretty close to the end, and another one in here, and one in here, and a last one in here, like so. Now I can extrude um, the plug. For this I select the Materials tab and Alt 3, Shift X, click in here and bring it out 12 millimeters, like so. Now I can select an edge in here, one in here, Alt-C again, but the count of two and symmetry. And make this maybe 1%, like so. Good. Now top view again. <coughs> Shift-C. When you have looked at the USB plug, you notice it has holes in it. I don't know what they're good for, but anyway they're in. So I select this here and then Alt-C with uh, Uniform again and a count of 4, like so. Now I can select these here, go to Symmetry on the X, W key, and move it out more to the side. Go out of symmetry. Now we would have the holes also on the back side, but since we won't see this, I will only do it on one side, and the technique to do it for the back side is exactly the same. So I select this middle polygon here and this one. Shift up arrow twice, Control X, Control V this. Then I can select this and delete. So we only work on one here. Now I select these edges here and Alt C with a count of two and symmetry and slice selected only. We can slice also edges and click in here and make this maybe 4%. Then do it again. Alt C again. Yes, and now select these three. Alt C and select them once more. Alt C and now I can select these middle polygons here. Shift up arrow and delete. And if I subdivide this, you see we hold the shape perfectly. Now we have a lot of N-Gons which we need to fix, so back to top view and activate symmetry on the X. C key. And now we have all quads. I can select this now, go to the front view, control, copy, control V, W key, and move this down to about here. Yes. <clears throat> and flip it. 
symmetry of perspective. Let's see, now we can go to vertex, merge, fixed, 0 0.01 and 40 vertices have merged. That sounds good. Now we need to fill these holes uh, so we can get to symmetry back again. This one, this one, bridge and then select the edge in here. Ah, but slice select it off and put it in and this is done. I now go to symmetry on the Y, select these here, no, wrong one, then B for bevel, bevel it in a bit on the red handle, shift click and on the blue handle, this is just to make the geometry look a bit more interesting. Now edge mode, select an edge in here, Alt-C, with uh, like so, and this is good. Okay, now I select these polygons here, Control copy, N for a new mesh, Control V, then select the top here, uh, but without symmetry, W key, and move this down to about here. Perspective, Shift X, and move it out to about here. Now we have a slight little problem because USB plugs only have uh, L backspace delete. They have four contacts and we would have had five. So Alt-C, count of three with uniform. Now we can select these. Now first, I think I want to bevel these edges. So B for bevel with a round level of zero, like so. Then I select the back polygon here, or polygons, and delete them. Select these edges, W key, and move them into the body, like so. Now we can make the contacts. So one, two, three, four, B for bevel without group polygons. About so. Shift click and bring this out very slightly, shift up arrow, M for material, call it gold, height, M for material again, call it black, and unhight. Let's go back to our other mesh and select both all these meshes and then center select it all, like so. Good. Um, we could give this stuff also some material, so select the polys here, shift up arrow, M, this is uh, metal, H for height, then these here, shift up arrow, M, this is black, okay, height, M again, this is 
plastic. Okay, unhide everything. <clears throat> okay, now I select two polys here. Align work plane to selection and in top view I select a cylinder with eight six sides and make this eight by eight millimeters and all zero here. Perspective now I move it up bit maybe 0.5 millimeters and reset the work plane then I can select this B for bevel bevel it in just a bit shift click bevel it in a bit more middle mouse button and delete Now I use this here, W key and bring it up a bit, then Alt C, count of 2 and symmetry. Let's see how this looks. Yeah, that looks not so bad. Good. Mm, I must rotate this. about like this. And now I can select these edges to up arrow key then uh, set key no. First I want to center this in X and Z. And now we can go back to the edge mode, Z key and bring it up to about here, R key, flatten it, W key, like so, Z key to about here and now Alt C with a count of uh, 7 uniform perspective and Alt 3 to convert to polygons and I want these also. Now side view Deform, bend, bend from here, uh, modo like so, and then control rotate it by minus 90 degrees. Drop the tools. <coughs> Next, I will hide this, go to top view and put a sphere into here. About this size. Now I go out of sub D mode and side view E for rotate and Control rotate it 90 degrees and delete the bottom polygons. Now I make this part here flat, R key, 
and bring it up to about, let's see, top view again, that's way too big. R key Yeah, something like this. So I give this a material <coughs> uh, button. Then this here, this is metal. And then we can go to duplicate, mirror, over the Y, apply, yes, yep, side view, then edge mode, and select these edges here, and bridge them together. Now I will select two polys in here, and two polys in here. L key, shift up arrow, and hide this. Now we can thicken this part, and by hiding a part of the geometry, we make it really easy for the thicken tool. So, polygon, thicken, click in the viewport, and on the blue handle, Uh, we must something like this. Now I select poly, these polys, L key and delete, and we can now unhide everything, and these polygons will, uh, these vertices will automatically merge. That looks good, and because this is in the middle, we can rotate this. <coughs> Action center, origin, E key, and if you use the, the stick, it is in this position. If you want to uh, protect the plug, it's in this position, and for our render, I will put it somewhere like here. So the last thing to do is I go to basic, shift, click this plane here, W key, and bring it down to here, M, give it the material, plane, R key, make it a hundred times bigger. And now we can go to the render tab. Uh, maybe it's easier if we look at the render camera here. Go to this mesh, shift A. Like about like so. Good. Uh, have the, don't need the plane. We need this mesh and tap to go to sub D mode. Yes. So the plane is laminate floor and because I have enlarged the plane by a factor of 100, I also have to enlarge the repeat number, so or the wrap number, sorry. Uh, 
by 200. It's a pretty small object, our USB stick. Then go back to metal and first our gold is gold. Then our metal is silver. Our plastic is, uh, I make it yellow. The button I want to make black. And our black material is, of course, black. Without specularity. Now I choose an environment, this one here. And last I will enlarge the render window 888, control enter and F9 to render it out. So here it is, our finished USB stick. Um, I hope you liked it. Thanks very much for watching. Take care and have fun modeling with Modo. See you some other time. Bye bye.